So TISMO is actually an acronym. It stands for Transportation Systems Management and Operations. It's a funny word, but it's been around for a long time. So TISMO really is just a group of strategies that focus on operational improvements. Now, operational improvements is different than capacity building or lane expansion. This focuses on the operational improvements, and the benefit of that is to expand the, the use of limited funding that we have today. There are lots of benefits. Uh, anytime you make an operational improvement or any type of improvement on our highway, it's going to improve safety. The advantages of TISMO are twofold. One, it's quicker and a lot easier than making a capacity improvement uh, project. Uh, two, it's not only quicker, but it's cheaper. I'll give you three. Uh, one most are very uh, familiar with, and that would be signal coordination. As you can imagine, going down a signal corridor, if you can make it through all the greens, that is really going to improve capacity. Uh, another one that we, are, we have here in Kansas City, very unique, are ramp meters. If you can imagine that all this traffic coming down the ramp from a signalized interchange, 12 to 15 cars, trying to get on a busy AM or PM rush highway, that doesn't work. So ramp meters help meter that traffic every one or two seconds. As you can imagine, that's a lot better. Another example would be traffic incident management. Sure, you can build a lane, but what happens if there is a crash and crashes do happen? You reduce that capacity. The best thing to do is get that cleared quickly and safely to allow that traffic to start moving again. So potholes happen, and the main goal is to, is to fix those in a timely manner. And really what potholes show us is a healthy pavement becoming unhealthy. Um, there are two needs that we wanted to satisfy. One was uh, quick reporting for those customers. Today, definitely someone can go home, get on the MoDOT website and fill out the form, or even call 1-88-ASK-MoDOT. Uh, but those may not be as quick and easy as we think they could be. Two, another need we have found with potholes is a accurate and reliable GPS location of those potholes. Can you imagine going home and trying to remember exactly where that pothole was when you're driving, which interchange, which direction, even which highway you're on? That can be very challenging. So we wanted to take that challenge away from everyone and make sure that the GPS location was very accurate. It's pretty simple. As you're driving, and most people use the Waze navigation tool. Um, like me, my phone is tucked away, can't be seen, it's not a distraction, so I use the voice command. And if I hit a pothole, I'll say, Waze, report pothole, done. If I have passengers in the car, they might want to use the Waze tool, push a few buttons, and report that same pothole. Once that pothole is reported, that GPS location goes, poof, up into the cloud, and it's recorded. So throughout the day, you can imagine all those people using Waze reporting potholes, all that is recorded up in the cloud. In a 24-hour period, that information is then sent to me into maintenance in a nice Google Earth map with pins on all those GPS locations of where those potholes occurred in the 24-hour period. Now, maintenance knows exactly where they are in a very easy visual format. So every day at 5 a.m., we get an email. And on that email is an attachment called Pothole Report KMZ which is just a like Google Earth. So I'll open this. And from that report at 5 a.m., these are all the reported potholes, which are noted as pins, from the previous 24-hour day. And so for me, if I was in maintenance, either in Kansas or Missouri, I would zoom in to that pin to see where it was, and I could tell this was reported I-70 westbound in the center lane near the interchange of Nolan Road. And so in this vicinity, maintenance could go and feel very confident there will be a pothole to fix and they won't have to go drive around looking for it at all.